my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Serenity Love. And today we will be doing our Ipsy unbagging for the month of October. Ipsy used to be a $10 a month subscription. It has went up this month to $12. It used to come in a bag like this, but it was hot pink and sparkly. Guess and with that extra $2, they put that logo on here, right? Really, Ipsy? $2 for you to fix your bag up? Really? I know a lot of people have been complaining about the change of that $2. But, you know, I think it's worth it. I'm, I'm still subscribed, so no harm, no foul, right? So, we have Betty Boop. Y'all remember Betty Boop? Well, that is the bag. It's Betty Boop up front. Then on the back is like sequined. So she's pretty. Any Betty Boop lovers out there? I was never just a super fan of Betty Boop. I remember watching on cartoons though. Let's get started. The theme for this month is flaunt it. I'm guessing that's the theme. Flaunt it. Okay. You better work, you better flaunt. Let's start obsessing over what we love about ourselves. It's time to show off what makes you feel beautiful. Those lips, that skin. Who better than iconic beauty muse and confidence queen, Betty Boop, to inspire you to flaunt it unapologetically. First thing that I have here is this Murad Clarifying Cleanser. Acne control, it has salicylic acid in it, so that's good for the acne. And it says, this powerful gel cleanser is infused with 1.5% encapsulated salicylic acid to combat acne and breakouts immediately and over time. Green tea extract helps calm irritation for clearer, healthier looking skin. The best part is gentle enough for all skin types. It has a seal, can't smell it y'all. But I'm almost done with another cleanser that I'm using, so, hey, yeah. The second thing we have is this Pretty Woman Nail Polish. I think that's what I have on my fingers now. Not this one, but this is, but yeah. So, I like this brand of nail polish. This beautiful color. It says, need a quick mani in a pinch? This long-wearing, crack and chip resistant formula dries super fast. So drying time won't slow you down. Plus the raspberry plum shade feels so fall. Animal lover, we got you. This polish is 100% cruelty free. This is in the color Don't Be Jelly. I am looking forward to putting this on because uh, it's actually time for me to remove this. I've had this on for a week. I didn't put a top coat on and it was actually doing pretty good until like a day or two ago so it started chipping but it's not just horribly bad item number three is this mascara with betty boop herself on it i don't remember betty boop looking like that do y'all remember looking like that i don't know maybe she did it just seemed like they just done flared her out a little bit this betty boop a compilation with Ipsy and Betty Boo. So it's introducing our limited edition collection in partnership with iconic beauty muse, Betty Boo. This lash lengthening formula will give your lashes a dramatic lift while separating and defining. It doesn't smudge easily and lasts all day without flaking. We love it for a long night out. I will be trying this. Oh, I still have others that are, oh well. I still have others that are open. I really want to try this out. They're almost gone, but okay. Maybe not. Fourth item that I have. <laughs> it's a brush, guys. I don't know what Ipsy been doing, but it's been a minute since I got a brush. So yeah, oh. It's got two, it's dual ended. So we have it here and this pointed part here. So that's the brush. Brown with the rose gold barrels um, at the end. And it's soft, it's pretty soft. It says um, this crown brush is a global leader in the brush making business. 
This dual ended shadow brush has both fluffy and pointy tips so you can apply shadows all over, blend into your eye crease and add dimension with one multitasking tool. I had to try her out tonight. Tonight me and my hubby are going on a date, a double date. Going out to eat. I'll, I'll probably be using that to do it up and I'll put a picture on here later for yeah so y'all can see my look that I come up with using my brush my baby boot mascara I'm gonna put it on there last item we have our two face masks yeah yeah it says essence herb tea tree sheet mask and canola honey sheet mask Essence Herb made it their mission to deliver effective products formulated with only honest ingredients. The tea tree mask absorbs excess oil and soothes irritated skin, while the canola honey mask keeps your complexion nourished and hydrated. So guys, that is all the items I've received in this month's Ipsy. Now y'all know what time it is. It's time for our nuggets of love. And y'all know earlier I was talking about the change in the money, financial, dollar-wise or whatever of Ipsy from $10 to $12. And a lot of people, you know, have been complaining or whatever, whatever about it. But I mean, you know, change is going to happen. Ain't nothing going to stay the same. And we have to remember that a lot of times change is for the best. I'm not saying that that increase of two dollars is for the best, but change is for the best at times. As a society, we have gotten so comfortable with good that we don't think about God. As long as everything is going good in our life, God is on the back burner. Mark 8, 36 through 38 says, what good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with his holy angels. I had a pastor that said, Church is the only place we can go and feel comfortable without changing. Think about that. You go to the beauty shop because you want your hair there. You want to change your look. You go to the barber shop because you need your hair cut. You want to change that look. You go to the dentist because your teeth are yellow. Your teeth are messed up. Something about your teeth you want to change, you go to the dentist. And even when you're sick, you go to the doctor because you're not feeling good and you want to change that. However, when it comes to church, we go through all the preliminaries, then have service, then we go up for altar call. And mind you, we even taking notes that we not going to read, that we not going to go over, that we not going to apply. But we walk out of the church doors still looking like the world with no desire to truly change. We go home and apply nothing that we learned from the service. Change requires nothing but change. There is nothing to pray about, nothing to think about. You don't have to go to the Lord and say, oh Lord, I I uh, do I want to change? I want to change this, but Lord, no. You make up in your mind. Look, this is not. This is not cool. I know God has better for me. God wants me to go higher in Him. I'm gonna change something. And my favorite thing to say is, I'm trying, y'all. That's me. I ain't gonna even lie. I'd be like, I'm trying to lose this weight. I'm trying. I done gained all this weight, but I'm trying to lose this weight. How am I trying? I'm not changing what I'm eating. I'm still eating sweets and junk and whatever I want to eat. I ain't working out. I ain't doing nothing to change. So how am I trying? I'm just saying, y'all, that's, that's what we say. We trying, but in reality, we are not doing anything about it. Trying is not doing. Change is not change 
until it is changed. Is there something in your life you want to change? Is God calling you to a higher level in Him? And you're concerned about what others may think or say? But God is calling you, so your concern should not be about others, but it should be what God is calling you to. Because if God is calling you to it, He wants you to do it, and He has a great outcome for you as you walk in it and do it. Matthew 6 and 33 says that if you seek God first and the things of God, then everything that you want, everything you need, everything you desire that's lining up with God, he's going to give it to you. All he wants is your obedience. All he wants is, is that sacrifice from you to say, okay, Lord, this is what I'm going to do. You're calling me to this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to step out on faith and I'm going to walk with you. That's all he wants. He wants communion with us. So my question to you today is, what are you looking to change? And my encouragement to you is, don't try, just do it. You can do it, y'all. Y'all got this, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Y'all have an awesome, blessed day. Bye.